Yo, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be routing Monarch inside of Contact all within Pro Tools. Let's get into it. All right, so for the most part, setting up outputs in Contact is gonna be the same regardless of what DAW you're in. I already have Monarch loaded in Contact 7. So we're gonna come up here to View, and then we're gonna select Outputs. If you're in Contact 6, I'm gonna open up Contact 6 for you. I don't have Monarch loaded, but this is Contact 6. To open the Outputs page, all you have to do is come here to this little symbol with the boxes and then select outputs. And you'll notice it's gonna look exactly like contact sevens page. We need to set up some outputs. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this plus button. And then we are going to create 14 outputs. And then we wanna make sure we have two channels per output. Host output, we wanna set this to ST1, the first option in this list. Ascending output assignment, we wanna make sure this is selected. All of the outputs just go already in ascending order for us, we don't have to manually do it. I like to select delete existing channels before creating new ones. Let's go ahead and select that, then go ahead and hit okay. Now we have 14 outputs in contact. All right, so I'm just gonna close the outputs window just temporarily, and we're gonna come over here to the main mixer. And then at the bottom of all these channels, we're gonna have routing. Let's go ahead and click one. And you'll notice none of our outputs are showing. All it shows is ST1. In order for any of the output configuration stuff to take effect in contact, it's gonna require you to restart the session. You don't have to quit Pro Tools, you just have to restart the session. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, if you come back down to routing in the main mixer, you'll notice that all of our outputs in contact show up. Now you can come through here and make your custom assignments however you want. I'm going to go ahead and use route all channels to sequential outputs. And you will notice that it went ahead and assigned everything in ascending order. All right, cool. So next step, we have to create some aux buses. I'm going to go ahead and create 13 aux buses. I know we created 14 outputs in contact, but ST1 is just the default output and I want to get everything to aux buses. And there's 13 channels in the main mixer, so we need 13 aux buses. All right, so now I have to set the inputs of all these aux buses, and I'm gonna hold Option, Shift, and Command, come to the first input on aux number one. While holding Option, Shift, Command, come to Plugin, Contact 7, and ST2. And you'll notice it's gonna set all of the inputs for my aux buses in ascending order. And then, last thing, I'm just gonna route these to bus one and two, just so they go through my all bus. And then really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and label them according to the channels in Monarch. Give me one second. If I go ahead and hit play on a groove, we should pair something. Last thing I wanna mention for the overheads, the close room and the far room channels, you'll notice we have two output assignments right here. What this is, is the first output assignment for overheads is gonna be just for the symbols. Second one is gonna be just for the shells. So you can actually route symbols overhead, shells overhead separately, and same for close room and far room. Symbols close room, shells close room, symbols far room, shells far room. These automatically get grouped together whenever you select the route all channels to sequential outputs, but you can still always come back here and change that. Lastly, if you have any custom one shots loaded in Monarch for your kick, snare, or toms, you can also route these through outputs in contact and have them going to individual buses in Pro Tools as well. And that's pretty much all there is to routing Monarch inside of contact all within Pro Tools. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.